Thank you so much. Does the White House and does the President um, agree to fully cooperate with the special counsel investigation? We have said that we are going to continue to continue to fully co cooperate. We have been. Uh, th uh, the President's lawyers and team has been fully cooperating uh, with the Department of Justice, and we're certainly they're certainly going to do that with uh, the, the special counsel. And so, by that reasoning, would the President agree to sit for an on-the-record in-person? Just not. Meeting? I'm not going to get into specifics or get ahead of what's going to happen. I'm not going to get into hypotheticals because that is a hypothetical. What I will say is uh, we have addressed this multiple times uh, at length, and we are going to continue, uh, the President's team is going to continue to fully cooperate with the Department of Justice, uh, and we respect that process, and that's what we're going to do. The President has said he hopes to speak about this soon. When can people expect to hear from him? Uh, don't have, again, that's a, that is, that is something that I can't, I don't have a, a magic wand here. I don't know when that's going to happen. What I can say is uh, his team is going to fully cooperate with the Department of Justice. Uh, and let's not forget, the President said during the campaign that when it comes to the Department of Justice independence, he respects that. Uh, and that is something that he had said was incredibly important to make sure that they had their independence. That's why we say we're going to make sure that uh, they have their independence, and that's why I'm saying that we're, we're going to refer to Department of Justice. And, and let me just ask you a big picture question here. Does the White House, broadly speaking, have an obligation to share not just with the National Archives, but with the American people? when the existence of classified information is found in a private location. Again, there is a process in this. But just big picture, not necessarily we, in this instance, well, but is, is it the policy of the White House that, that they should share that information not just with the National Archives, but with the Americans? So I, I'll say this, Kristen. We have been transparent in the last couple of days. In, remember, there's an ongoing process, and we have spoken when it is appropriate. Uh, and we have shared, again, I've been here almost every day, not every day, but from Wednesday, yesterday and today, taking your questions on this. The White House Counsel has uh, put out uh, a very extensive multiple uh, statements on this as well. And you all, I know, you all have been talking, many of you here have been talking to my colleague in the White House Counsel. So what the, the, um, the actions that we took were right right actions that his team took uh, in, de in, in uh, dealing with the Department of Justice and also the archives. But Look, I have, I have... You guys have answered questions when the press has broken and the news... Because it's an ongoing process. Because, again, it is an ongoing process. There is a process here. The Department of Justice is independent. We respect that process. But again, I have taken questions. I can take two, two questions through 100 questions. I have answered your questions uh, as uh, almost every day on this issue. And again, anything else that you may have, anything that's related to the review, I would refer to one, the Department of Justice. One last question, because I know you've got to move on here. But the, the President campaigned on the argument that he would restore confidence. We know that he's in the process of deciding whether to officially announce he's running for re-election. Does this episode undercut that argument that, that he would restore confidence? Because here we have in the headlines that he is now under investigation. He's restored independence in the Department of Justice. That's what we're doing here. When we're saying we're going to refer you to the Department of Justice, that is restoring independence as it, as it relates to issues like this. And that is important to the President. And it's been consistent. What I am saying about investigations has been consistent for the last two years. You've heard me over and over again when it comes to a legal issue or a matter like this, uh, we have always referred to the Department of Justice. So there's nothing here, uh, different here. Uh, we have said we wanted to restore the independence of the Department of Justice. Uh, that is what you're seeing. Uh, and again, we this has been done in a transparent way uh, when it relates to how this was uh, dealt with with the Department of Justice uh, and the archives. The President takes this very, very seriously. Any other questions that you may have about this particular issue, uh, about the review, I would refer you to the Department of Justice. You guys have been in touch with my colleagues at the White House Counsel Office, and I would uh, suggest that you continue to reach out. Go ahead.